Hello CC families, this is cycle two, week four. We're gonna go over our memory work for the week. History, tell me about the Magna Carta. English King John signed the Magna Carta in 1215, limiting the king's power. Later, England's king, Edward III, claimed to be king of France and began the Hundred Years War in 1337. And we sang along to the music. English King John signed the Magna Carta in 1215, limiting the king's power. Later, England's king, Edward III, claimed to be king of France and began the Hundred Years' War in 1337. And just sing along with it and do the actions to it. Um, math, we just drew all of our skip counting on the sidewalk this time. Um, and we sang along to the music as we were going. So my suggestion for this would be draw your numbers really far apart from each other because the kids just kind of walked from number to number instead of really kind of getting into it and jumping in um, from number to number. Um, so we just sang along to the music to the CD, had some fun with that. Again, make the numbers get really far apart so they actually get more action out of it. Um, English, nominative pronoun is um, sung to the chicken dance. We found a well, I found um, the user, the YouTube user Alonzi's. I'll go ahead and put it down in my notes and everything. Um, but she had made the um, the next few weeks actually go to the tune of the chicken dance. So we're probably gonna get tired of the chicken dance, but it was a lot of fun in class. So we did nominative pronouns: I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Nominative pronouns: I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Nominative pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Nominative pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Okay, I cannot do the actions. Any other actions to this song while I'm singing this? Because I was trying to do I, you, he, she, it, we, they, and, or we, you and they and it was just it's too much to do so if you can add them in and it helps you go for it for me it was too much um latin was a repeat of last week it was the first con conjugation imperfect tense we used our champagne poppers and the pronunciation was bomb because it's the bomb goes off and makes everything that was perfect imperfect so bomb boss bot bomus batis bont okay sing along to that to your memory work CD. Geography, this came from CC Happy Mom. She has so many awesome geography songs, um, but it was the European waters. So you start off with Seine River, Rhine River, Elbe River, Po, Danube River, Cups, Romania, here we go. Volga is in Russia. Don't you know, European rivers flow, flow, flow. And it goes to the tune of 10 Little Indians. I'll show you on the map where they're at. And actually the kids were able to find these so easy um, from the actions that they did on the song. So it was Sen River, right here. Sen River, Rhine River, Elba. It's hard to look from this direction. Um, it's actually Elbe, Elbe, Elba, and then Po goes straight across. Danube cups Romania. Here we go. Volga is in Russia. Don't you know? European rivers flow, flow, flow. So we sing it as Sen River, Rhine River, Elba, Po, Danube cups Romania. Here we go. Volga is in Russia. Don't you know? European rivers flow, flow, flow. Okay. Um, science. I got these little guys over at Target for a dollar and gave one to each member of my class. 
you hit it and it flashes and they love these things. Make sure they don't actually hit themselves in the head or anything because they love doing that too. Um, so we did, what are the natural cycles? It was the water cycle, carbon and oxygen cycle, and nitrogen cycle. Um, with this one, we just, since they love to tap it and everything, we just took it and we hit it on a picture for each one. You can draw it or you can find pictures online and everything, but what are the natural cycles? The natural cycles are water cycle, carbon and oxygen cycle, nitrogen cycle, and we just repeated it and they have fun because these things light up and they're awesome and kids love them. Um, oh, and then we had our timeline. So we had early Native Americans, this is like their face paint or feathers, Israel divides into two kingdoms. Homer and Hesiod, there's your H's. Rome founded by Romulus and Remus. So those are ours. Israel falls to Assyria. We have our bow and area. Assyria falls to Babylon. Lao Tzu, Confucius, and Buddha. These are your P's because they're philosophers. Lao Tzu, Confucius, and Buddha. Okay? I think that is all of our memory work for this week. Um, a side note for our abstract art, we looked at the difference between realistic art and then abstract art, just with the example of cats, okay? Um, and then we drew our own easy version of the cats. Um, and we um, divided the cats into different little sections and used our oils. So in one section that was divided off, you could go ahead and do little swirls. In another section, you could do dots. Um, just so they knew that it didn't have to actually depict the realistic. It was more abstract. Um, it was fun. We had a good time. I think that's it. You guys have fun. Enjoy your week. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you.